guys, welcome back for another great video. So this is how to watch Code Geass in the right order. In this video, I will be introducing for those who doesn't even started yet Code Geass, the correct order to do that. I will be giving the right order to watch it without missing even any special episode, OVA or even a movie. So for more details, let's jump to the next part of the video. But before we get started, I appreciate if you first take a second to subscribe to the channel and smash even that like button. So without any further ado, let's get started guys. I must thank all of you for the huge support to this kind of topic. I already uploaded videos about how to watch an enemy in the right order and I received a great support to continue. By the way, I will be introducing the first synopsis of the story, then I will stop because this will absolutely spoil for you the whole events. Anyway, and of course we are going to start with Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion first season that has a total of 25 episodes, each one will last about 24 minutes. It's revolving around a young student, Lelouch has sworn to destroy the Britannia's empire, his ambition will be served by a mysterious young woman classified by the army as a military weapon, the latter will offer Lelouch the geese the power of the kings which allows him to impose his will on anyone who meets his gaze. So once you finish the first season, jump right away to Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion R2 or Season 2 that has a total of 25 episodes. Every single one will take you about 25 minutes. Once you finish that, you can watch now Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion Special Edition Black Rebellion, an OVA episode that will last about 1 hour and 57 minutes. But you must know that this OVA is summarizing all 25 five episodes of season one from Lelouch perspective. We have here Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion R2 special edition, Zero Requiem and OVA episode that will last about 1 hour and 56 minutes. This OVA summarizing the 25 episodes of season 2. So those two OVAs that I mentioned are not necessary to watch, only for those who wants to memorize the first two seasons. For next we have guys Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion, Kizaki's birthday picture drama, a special episode that will last only for 27 minutes. And here we have Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion Nanali in Wonderland, an OVA episode that will take you 28 minutes to watch it. Go ahead now for Code Geass Bokoko no Ake to spin off 5 OVA episodes every single one lasts for 1 hour. Once you finish that, it's the time to start the movies. First Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion, The Awakening Path movie that will take you 2 hours and 11 minutes. First movie in a trilogy compiling the first two season of Code Geass, the movie contains additional scenes. Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion, the Awakening Path second movie that will take you 2 hours and 10 minutes to finish it. Second movie in trilogy compiling the first two season of Code Geass, the movie contains additional scenes. Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion, the Imperial Path third movie that that will last about 2 hours and 20 minutes. Last movie in a trilogy compiling the first two season of Code Geass, the movie also contains additional scenes. And for the last guys, Code Geass Lelouch of the Resurrection movie that will take you 1 hour and 52 minutes to watch it. This new project was created to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Code Geass saga. The story follows the plot of the recap movies and therefore ignores some aspects of the series that are not transcribed there. So recently I figured out that during an official live that we learn about the production of the anime code Geass Z of the Recapture. Actually no details yet has been revealed, once they announce any future updates I will make sure to deliver that. There is also an upcoming game code Geass Genesis Recode is scheduled for spring 2021 on mobile, stay tuned for that. So this is it for now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that was very helpful for you to start or even to continue watching in the exact order. This is how you won't miss anything from Code Geass. But anyway, thank you so much for supporting the channel and I wish you all a great day.